Welcome back to Abu Dhabi. Welcome back to ADIPEC. COP28 is around the corner. What sort of messages are we expecting? Well, first of all, it's great and always a pleasure to be back in Abu Dhabi. ADIPEC is a great uh, opportunity for everybody to come together, especially people from the industry, to be able to express with clear conviction the role that this industry must play in the energy transitions. And when I say energy transitions, it is plural, because we really believe that every country, every people have their own pathway to become involved in the energy transition and get to a cleaner and carbon-free world. This is our motto in OPEC. We call it energy transitions, not energy transition. Uh, there's no one size fits all, but the only thing that we all agree on is that we need to move faster to decarbonize, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and do everything we can as an industry. Again, there was some clear, clear words today mentioned by His Excellency Dr. Sultan, which is in line, 100% in line with our conviction at OPEC. Our agenda is that everyone must be at the table. This is, I think, something that the UAE leadership, uh, His Excellency Dr. Sultan Jaber, have highlighted very clearly all throughout that this COP is about bringing everyone to the table, including the industry. The industry has so much to present in terms of expertise, knowledge, financial capability, and this should be used and harnessed mm -hmm. to help transition in a way that is orderly, just, inclusive, and uh, really we always say in OPEC it leaves nobody behind, you know, especially when you look at the matter of energy poverty in certain places around the world. You cannot ask people who have no access to simple electricity, basic electricity needs, to transition at the pace of people who have everything with a flick of a switch. Mm -hmm. So this is essential to keep in mind, the just, equitable, um, orderly way. We have to have a clear roadmap, as I said today on stage, where we want to be, we know how to get there, and we have to deploy everything at hand in order to be able to get there together. Mm -hmm. And now uh, technology plays a big role. It needs to be accessible, needs to be less costly, especially for these countries. Um, tell me more about the role of technology now in this energy transition and the new landscape of the energy. Well, absolutely right. The technology is a critical success factor for energy transitions. Uh, for the oil and gas industry, we talk about CCUS, CCS, direct air capture, carbon dioxide removal, methane emissions, reduction of flaring, uh, hydrogen, in addition to continuing to develop the investments needed in renewables. And I think we don't need to look very far away. We are in Abu Dhabi. Classic success story, an example to be followed and to be mirrored by countries that are oil producers, gas producers, on how we can also reduce emissions, reduce carbon, uh, uh, emissions in order to be able to transition and become a source of a very low co uh, carbon footprint for the gas industry, the oil industry in this country, but also so on the side developing all the renewables needed. At OPEC we always say that the world will need all forms of energy and it's not either or, it's and. And the, the, whole, the whole objective is to meet the Paris Agreement goals, which is to reduce emissions, not to replace one energy with another form of energy. So absolutely, we believe that technology will be the critical success factor in order to take us forward in this.